Hey guys, Paul here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm back here at Test Studio in Tustin, Orange County to install this really cool sequential reflector and brand new palette lights for Tesla Model Y. I was gonna install these by myself, but after consulted with the technician here at Test Studio, I might as well have them install it for me because it's quite complicated. So today I will show you the whole installation process on all these lights. Let's go. So here what came in the box of the brand new pilot lights from Handshow. So there's a long wire that will connect um, to the pilot light itself and these are the pass through that we will connect to both of the tail light left and right. As for the reflector, here are the both eye of the reflector here and it's only two wires harness here. So one for the left, one for the right and this these also the pass through so we can get signals, um, the turn signal and the brake signals from the tail light. Now let's pull all this out so we can install it. I got these two products from Handshow or HAutopart.com. This is the pilot light and this one is the rear bumper tail light. Make sure you select the fishbone style so that's the one um, I got and if you are interested in getting these two products don't forget to use my special discount code DAD to get that extra 15% off so the total turned out to be $295. All right now Let's go and install them on my Tesla Model Y. So Brian here from Test Studio is gonna help me out with this project. It's um, a lot harder than I thought it would be. So he's gonna help me out with the installation. So which one, uh, which parts are we removing first? So to start off, I would definitely um, get rid of all of these covers right here, put it on the side for yourself. And then when you're actually removing everything, you're gonna be removing this. Um, in this order and then from there these side panels right here and then there's actually going to be a clip right under the side right here that pulls out the sides of your trunk and then from there the whole entire inlay will be pulling up as well. So there are plastic clips here on the inside. Um, these plastic clips they're really easy to come out so um, basically on this part no screws at all involved removing so make sure you keep these when we put it back in later so it came from there there's no screw at all you just pull it up and then remove it um, same thing on this side so pretty much now we have everything removed now we just have to remove um, the panel right there to access to the inside of the tail light Next, uh, just pull this rubber seal out a little bit so you can, you know, pull this panel out. Now you have a full access to the tail light. That's where we are going to connect uh, the pass through for signals and power. And next, you have to pull uh, the wheel arch trim out. Those also cost no screws at all. Okay, so when you move the panel on the left, make sure you disconnect the 12 volt um, power socket so you don't pull it and break it. So after removing the wheel art plastic piece, um, this, uh, I believe this is eight millimeters um, bolt they have to remove and we can get the access to here. You're going to be removing this side of the bumper due to the fact that you're going to allow yourself space to pass a fishing wire through. Um, the way you'll be doing so is actually through the vent hole that you will see about right here. And those vents. And that's where you're going to be fishing your wire through. So vents right here, right? Mm -hmm. On the side vent. Exactly. So the main idea of it is that you're going to fish the wire through over to here. And this middle area, will, it will have the fishing wire coming inward, which allows you to reach these lights. Oh, okay. Yep. So that way, technically speaking, it's going to go that direction so you can pull downward into over here. So the same goes for the pallet light? Yes. So it has to go out and in back into the middle? No, actually for the pallet light, we're going to be running through the center. Uh -huh. It's going to be running through into here. And this is for the Model Y specifically, so this is how we have to run it. 
So it'll be running along this line and then downward into the bumper. As you can see here, the fishing line, fish out and go through the vent hole right there. So we can um, get the wire down and then connect to the sequential uh, reflector lights right here on both sides. This is how you um, remove the original OEM reflector. Because since it's just reflector, there's no power connect to it. No. Right. It's just clips. Just plastic and the clips. Just go um, use one of these um, trim removal tool and pull it out little by little. So the clip underneath will be released. Finally remove this out. It's it's tricky to remove it without breaking it. So as you can see, there's one hook here, right here, the clip, and then one is that's hooking here. So make sure you pop it up and then try to pull it out this way so you don't break it. So this one will be for the sequential reflectors and this will be for your pilot light. So what we end up doing is, because of the fact that it's piggybacking off of your OEM taillight wire, mm -hmm. we simply pull as well from the same power. So from there, I'm gonna be prepping this, set that in. And then from there, take the OEM wire. So we are picking back, picking back Twice, basically. Twice. Yep. And we plug it in like so. Clip it in. Oh, backwards. Let's see. No, it's not backwards. It's, it's going. There you go. And then right here. And then we just plug it back in on the tail light. The tail light. And from there, you're good to go. Now, the ones you'll be pulling through this hole is the sequential one. So it's uh -huh. the much longer wire that comes with it. Tape off right here and then pull through. Okay, so this is how you fish the wire through from the air vent, the side vent. And now, you try to pull it up. It's already up. Good bit. There you go. So that's where we are going to fish through the plug, right? Mm -hmm. To connect to the new sequential reflector light. Yes, sir. This portion right here, I would recommend having a friend just have them wait on the other side so they can help you grab it. But you can do it on your own as well. It's not that bad. There you go. There's the other wire. So, so, so from there. Now we get from there to there. Mm -hmm. Then we just swish um, the fish line to the new one. So now he's done with um, taping the new fishing line. And we're going to pull this this way. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Yes, sir. Slow. So um, undo the tape that we just did. I mean, another way you could do is just to remove the whole rear bumper. Um, but this way, so we don't have to remove the bumper. It seems like a, a easier way to do it. There you go. There you go. Uh. So be really gentle when you try to pull um, the fish line. That's attached to the wire so basically do the same thing on the other side um, but for now we just try to connect it and then test it first right, as you can see the signal lights on and then the sequential is on mm -hmm. so now we know we know now it works before we you know actually um, attach it back in and then plug it because when we attach it back in it's gonna be really hard to pull it back out so now all the wire that we plug in went back inside right and then you just clip it back oh, in it pretty much. Yeah. Just oh, pop yeah, the, the, back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So same thing on this side. So the hard part is fishing the wire from there and then fishing the wire back from the plug that attached to the reflector itself. We'll plug it in and then we'll push it in here. Now he pushed the wire back in and then attach. That's good. Now, next we are going to fish the wire for the pilot light. So, this is where you open to tow something. If you add a tow package to your car, pull from the back. There you go. They try to go through the metal. Um, because it's the newer year, this is 2023 somehow, it didn't, it didn't come through here. The, the, the path is too small, so they found another uh, path right there. So it's uh, under 
trunk space support you just have to unscrew one and then this one will um, screw over there to leave some gaps right here there so they just fish through the gaps um, from the bottom here and go up to that support and then just plug in on both sides one right here And that's it, right? We just have to hide the, mm -hmm. the cable underneath all the, the liners here. Now we just have to plug in the pile light and then test it before we actually put it in. There we go. Now we're gonna test it. And um, can you turn on the light? So that's the animation when the light's on. It's really cool. I mean, when it's not on and active, you can't really see it's there. Last but not least, we have to organize all the wires and then just put everything back in place. It's gonna take probably, what, 20 minutes to put these back in, but it's gonna take a few seconds for you. All right, the installation is done. Now let's see how it looks on my Tesla Model Y. Wow, I love that turning on starting animation on the new pilot light really cool now let's test um, the brake light hit the brake please so that's what it looks like when you hit the brake so um, the brake light on the top and then the pilots also activated and also the reflector on both sides all right the installation is done i love how they turn out those sequential reflector, really, really cool. And that animation on the pilot light, wow. I love how it turned out. So if you are interested in installing these two lights, right now Test Studio is having a special package deal for all of this together. I will list that in the description down below for the pricing. All right, thank you so much guys for watching today's video. Don't forget to click like if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe for future contents. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.